Hey y'all, it's me Rodney from Rusty Relics, and uh, it's a good Friday, or it's not the good Friday, but it is a good Friday. It's a good Friday. I'm having a pretty yeah. good day so far. How are, is everybody doing today? Yep. Hi guys, it's me Missy with there Rusty Relics. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. And happy Friday. Kat said, uh, good morning, friends. Tina said, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Margie said, good morning. Kathy said, hello. So, um, today... We're John gonna... said, good morning. Good morning. So, today we're going to be painting some furniture. Finally. Finally, I get to paint a piece of furniture. Good morning, Judy. So, I'm super excited Natalie. about that. She's super excited about super it. Super excited about it. Because it's been a... Um, what, almost two weeks since I've got to paint a piece of furniture? Yeah. It's yeah. Been something like that. It's been something like that. This one was easy to prep. This one was. Just this clean up. Just a an old. scuff sand, nothing bad. Yeah, it's just an old table or whatever. Um, it would have been cool to leave it in its original finish, though. It has that bohemian vibe or whatever, but um, it wasn't. I wasn't going to be able to pull that one off with this one. So this is upside down in case you're just wondering. Uh, because it has the um, rattan. rattan on the bottom shelf. Or rattan. Rattan. However you want to say However it. you want, yeah. So uh, my thoughts on this one, since I want to paint it, is I want this to actually stand out more than what it does with it being the whole solid wood. So we're going to kind of paint it with two different colors. We're going to get so that way this kind of has a standout. So we're using silk again today. Um, because it is, you know, an all-in-one paint. It's your primer, your paint, and your top coat built into one. Yep. I thought that would be the easiest way to go with painting this right here. So, May May did get a few shelves yesterday. John yes. said May May needs more shelves. May May needs more shelves. Well, she's got she a ton got of a ton yesterday. She actually got a, a pretty good load. I think she might even have more than what she needs. I'm not 100% sure, but... I'm excited to see her shop when she gets it all set up um, for everything that she's got going on. I think it'll be super cute, which I saw this morning. She was said that it was um, bring your sewing machine day uh, to work day. I was thinking, whew, not for me, but for her, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, um, okay, so let's just get started. So I'm going to paint this first. So I'm painting two different colors. I'm going to paint the body of this um, table in black sands. And then, but I'm going to paint this part right here in Sandcastle. Sandcastle is the one that I used on that bookshelf that I did with the napkins on the back and stuff. So I think it's a really pretty neutral color. And I think black sands and sandcastles go really well together. But because we're painting this, um, it has all the holes and stuff like that. It's important to paint the back, the bottom side and paint the top side. So you, that way there's none of the natural color or whatever that's on here. The stain that's on here is peeking through. So we're just wanting to make sure that we have full coverage on that part. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get this part painted so I can flip the table over and paint this side and also paint the table um itself so we're just going to start out with this now if you have a roller a roller would definitely be easier um, to roll this and you don't have to worry about so much of the paint seeping through all of these open holes but i don't have a roller and i didn't feel like going and buying one so we're just going to do it this way so what I like to do when I'm painting something like this is not so much load my paintbrush up with a bunch, but just a little bit and then spread it and go thin. So it's silk and this is just a, we're not, it's going to self level and everything, but we're not too much worried about brush strokes or anything like that on this side are really in this piece. So you're just going to want to dab it in and make sure that you give it the full coverage. But the reason why I like to wipe a little bit off is so that way my paintbrush, again, is like I said, it's not overloaded because you don't want it to seep and go through the holes like where if you load it all the way down, it'll just drip through the holes. 
We're not wanting to do that. We're just wanting to cover up all of this so that way everything. Because if you don't, you'll see that brown come through you'll on the other the brown, side. You'll see the brown, right, go through. And that's what we're trying to avoid. We're trying to avoid the brown. But I think painting it in this sandcastle is definitely going to give it um, just a brighter look. And then if you see it coming through, you can always go through on the other side. But like I said, like this is not so much worrying about brush strokes or anything like that because it's just, we're just wanting to cover it. So there's not really enough area for you to worry about. Hey, did you get a chance to, to look at May May's live afterwards yesterday? I got to watch a little bit of it this How was the, the Was the stream fine? Oh, that, because I know. I, I watched her. I was watching her live from... From her studio last night. I wasn't watching it. I'm talking I about from the store. I didn't get to watch that one. Our fiber optic is at the store, but I only have one modem. I don't have the mesh network set up yet. When she was um, walking through the store, it was really good, even all the way down to D. Because um, I was actually kind of worried about that because, you know, before she couldn't get past certain areas. Yeah, but she got a I lot. I still don't have my stuff, my equipment in to be able to put the, the mesh network in. She got, she, the, how her, yesterday she went a lot deeper into the store than what she's ever done before with the um with her cell phone like that in case you guys are wondering uh margie said it was a great video it was good until she got to the way back yeah so the plan is is i plan on having three mesh wireless access points and uh, i'm going to install them and I think three will get the job done all the way to the back. If not, I'll put a fourth in because of the back area. Because we're converting the back storage area into our classroom. And then I have some stuff uh, that I'm going to put back there that will help in class, enhance classes mm -hmm. and make yeah. our prototyping of products a little bit faster. Yeah, we're super excited yeah, about Kathy that. Yeah, Kathy said it was good until she got to the back. Yeah. John said we have a great store. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank Natalie you. said that she thought our store was amazing. Ah, oh, thank you. We like it. We like it sometimes. We like our store. No, we like it all the time. Yeah, but <laughs> except for when... when, when so, when, when stuff doesn't work our way. So like, we had HVAC come out and they fixed a bunch of units and uh, they had to, I, we were looking for a gas leak. It turned out there wasn't one because the gas leak was actually on the up area outside that the gas company had repaired uh, previously without letting us know. And uh, so I had them out there because I thought there was a gas leak in the heaters. So they were up there and stuff and moving stuff around, had to get into some parts that you normally wouldn't have to walk on. So it kind of damaged some of the repaired area. Our Not much. Just our, our beautiful flat roof. Yeah. Our so some of the areas roof. that we fixed last year. But uh, now I got to go back up there and fix them because we get a little leak that's cropped up. Yeah. But it is what it is. It's pretty simple. That's probably when we It costs a little bit more to fix those things than I would like. Of course. But yeah, I plan on fixing that. I got to wait till the weather is going to be clear for at least a week and uh, it can't be too hot and it can't be too cold. Yeah. So usually it has to be just yeah, right because the product will not adhere even though it's a self-adhering product. It's almost like bonding boss, except for for roofs. And it's <laughs> yeah. like this thick once it's applied. It's so cool. All right, I'm gonna see if I can flip this Tina over. said, I need to talk hubby and to trip down there to see your store in Maymay's. Yes. That would be a, a good fun trip, I think. And there's a lot There's a lot to do. They're so charming. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of other There's uh, more lens fine more jewelry. Lens. That's always a good place to check out. And Tommy is an hilarious guy. So I should be able to just flip it over, right? Yeah. Yeah. I had to put that on Missy's favorite junk table that we have. I, out of all the furniture that we have, this piece of junk is what sits in the living room 
for I us, and she loves table. it. She loves that piece of junk. I love this table. I don't like it. I want it. I need to fix it. All right. That's what I think, anyways. Yeah. Judy said it's like a superstore. She said I could spend the better part of a day there. Yeah, you know, you could work. We work there. You know, you. Well, used to we work used to we work there eight hours a day, six days a week, and we still couldn't tell you everything that's in the store. Yeah, well, I still can't. Yeah, Tina said it would it would be fun. Okay, so I do have this taped off on this side. I went ahead and did that, um, so that way I don't have to worry about not getting where like that. Just so that way I can keep my edges clean. That's what I'm trying to say. So we're just going to go through and paint this side now. And we're doing it the same way. We're just going through, <laughs> kind Kat, of wiping it. Cat said, we'd love to have you. Yes. Margie said, I could spend a lot of time in your store. Oh, yes. Tina said, would have to bring Hubby's truck to bring back all the things I would buy. <laughs> There's a lot. Depending on what you're looking for, there is yeah, a there lot. There is a lot. We all saw, y'all watched May May yesterday. She was in there, yeah. Let me get my face out of the way. There we go. When you, it, if either, you have a roller, the, a roller would actually be pretty easy on this one, but. It might not get down in the, the crack. Yeah. Where a brush will. A brush can, you can dab it in. That's the good thing about it. Now, now, Missy never leaves a store without anything, too. Yesterday, she bought a coffee cup from a vendor. Yeah. What was that? What did that cup say? Um, It was that floral cup or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I need this because I just got a new coffee shelf, a coffee mug shelf for all of the mugs that apparently I think that I need. And it was really pretty, so I thought it would be pretty to have that. Yeah. Emily uh, buys Emily, stuff all the time, too. The, both Emily and Kat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kat got some block sitters yesterday. Yeah. They do. We, we get that all the time. People say, I couldn't work here. <laughs> but sometimes it's not. Um, we don't always buy everything. <laughs> Or that's the way I kind of look at it sometimes is like, um, because it's in the store, I feel like, oh, it's okay, because I have it here at the store, because <laughs> there's a lot of things I could, would like to take home, but... Yeah, right. I don't always get to, but it's okay, and if it sells, it's okay. It's not meant for me to have. Yesterday, me and Kat was walking around, and I found a pair of brass um, geese, um... And they're so pretty, and Kat was like, you don't need those. I was like, oh, Kat, I do need those. So I left them for today. <laughs> they might be, they might come home with me by Saturday <laughs> if they don't sell. I do love brass. Yeah, you do. I'm surprised you didn't get them, actually. Well, I was trying to... I was trying to give the people a chance, you know? Give the people a chance. Give the people a chance. <laughs> Cammy. Cammy. She, that's Cammy telling me to, that I should have got the brass geese. That's what that is. It's because I'm knocking on this. Well, it's not making noise, so I don't know why she's... Like, Stop barking. It's okay. enough noise for a can. Nobody wants to hear you. It's they might want to noise. see you, but they don't want to hear you. It's enough noise for Cammy. Margie's laughing. <laughs> she just wants to say hi, Tina said. That's all it is. That's all it is. Ain't that right, Cam? I think she heard the UPS truck mm. drive down to the neighbors. Yeah. So one of the reasons why Missy loves silk for projects like this, because she's not doing anything overly creative with the project. No. Nope. So it's a good one and done paint. And because it's got everything built in, 
But just because it's one and done doesn't mean you can't use two top coats. Missy's gonna Missy's gonna coat this thing twice. I guarantee it. Yeah, uh, especially this part, because that's where you're gonna get the drinks and you know the most wear and tear and stuff like that. So it never hurts to just put an additional top coat on it. Um, and usually I just use flat um, DC Build Clear Coat in flat, um, just to make sure that the top is. A little bit extra protected because that is where it's going to take the most wear and tear. Rattan, yeah, yeah. I think I get. I think that's how you say it. I should have looked it up to make sure the pronunciation was correct. Jay has joined us. Ah, the... Jay. He is here. Beautiful weather here in Lower Alabama. He said. Yeah. It is really pretty, and I think it's supposed to get up into the 70s today, I believe. Lorna said, can't wait to see the finished product. I love her tan. Yeah, that's why I wanted to paint this a different color and make it more of a two-tone, because I wanted you to be able to spot this out. And while I liked the table, you know, um, like the all-wood color, because like I said, it is definitely a bohemian vibe. Um, with the, the way it is and everything, but I still needed, um, it just needed, I, uh, I was going to paint it because I like painting furniture. So <laughs> Barb said, I used to work in a gift shop and I would give myself three day cool down before I could buy anything. Yeah. I worked really hard to sell my favorites and was very good at it. <laughs> I like to, um. I like to. That's why I say Missy them, likes to hide her favorites. Is what she does. I like to give pe. I like to give people a chance. That's what I like to do. I like to give them a chance to buy it, so that way I'm not buying everything. So we're just gonna leave this and let this dry. Um, I'll probably definitely need to go over it and do just one more coat. But you get the picture of it. It's already brighter. Can you see it really good? Yes. Yeah, it's already brighter. Already. So, I'm excited about that. So we're painting the body of this in black sands. Now this is not a, um, this is not like caviar, a true deep black. This is like, what do you, it's like a grayish black. I would say it's close to charcoal. Yes. It's a, a little bit, dark, it's a little bit darker than your charcoal paint, not charcoal itself. Cause charcoal itself is a gum dark black. But this is, so it's just it's just softer. It's just not yeah. It's not a, it's like caviar in um, chalk paint. Dixie Bell chalk paint is pure black. It is black. But this is more has a gray tone. Tina to it. says she used to work in a big department store doing inventory and all the price changes. She thinks she spent her paychecks there. Oh, I did spend. I yeah, did for a long time, that. Missy did. I do spend, spend everything that she made there. But back then, I also worked at Security Engineers. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, with silk, um, if you're new, um, silk, you do not use water um, because you're not going to want, you, you don't want to water down the um, product with the top coat and all that built on because then it weakens it. But I always start out with a damp brush. And then, so this brush has been wet and then dry and it's just been laying here drying for the past hour or so so it's not completely wet but it's still um damp enough and the only reason why i like to do that is that way um it's not soaking up my paint i guess is the, the main reason why but this is a brand new jar so i'm super excited about that and then we're just going to go and Kathy nice said, hi, y'all. Hi. I'm late, but I finally did make it. You made it. The reason why I wanted to paint this piece black is because um, I have not painted a piece of furniture black in a hot minute. And I feel like I'm a big believer in black being... Um, you know, like having a piece of black furniture to ground your room and, and that kind of stuff is which just about all of my furniture is black. Yep. 
So, but in my booths, I also have a bunch of color. I don't have any, well, I have one piece of black furniture in one booth, but it's really small. Um, so when I was getting ready to do this table, I was like, well, my, um, my booth could use some grounding. It could, um, benefit from a piece of darker black furniture like this but you can see that it's not black black it's like Rodney said it's like a charcoal gray black but I think it'll it, I think it looks really good with the sand castle too and yeah. of course for this piece the main work that I did was clean it really really good with some white lightning and I just scuff sanded it I did not sand this I just cleaned that really good Marjorie said from here it looks gray and it, it, it really does because the angle of the camera and then yeah. the light so the light is right beside it when and it dries a, it'll dry a little bit darker of and course it's a LED light but yeah it's not it's not black black but it, it's not I guess, I mean, it does have gray. It is gray in that way. So paint the front side and they'll see. And it dries a lot darker than what it's. It does dry darker, yeah. Tina said, I really like that color. It's really pretty. Paint the front side? Yeah. I was trying to make sure that I didn't have any overlap right here. So that way I don't, yeah. Paint the front side. Yeah, there you go. And as it as it dries, it'll darken up a, sl a tad bit. It does, yeah. It does. But it's not going to be like super dark black no, either. it's not. It's not going to dry black. Like To me, it looks like charcoal gray. And it is a very pretty color. It is. Um, if I was to compare it to a color in um, with Dixie Bob, I would compare it to Gravel Road. Yeah, that would be the equivalent. Yeah, to the chalk paint. Hopefully, I'm keeping these camera angles good. Yeah. I'm working yeah. on moving at each one of them <laughs> at a time. Missy moves pretty quick. I'm bad about not paying attention to that, too. I don't have a camera angle for all sides, so when she paints on the side, we just miss that totally. This one? Yeah. I, I, we can't uh, see all sides. I can move the table, though. The wife used that color paint all of our kitchen's cabinets, Jay said, in the old house. At first, I thought it was a huge mistake, but it turned out so nice. Yes. I haven't questioned her since. <laughs> Smart man, Jay. You used, like, manatee in our bathroom. Mm. Manatee gray. Yeah. It looked really good, too. I think it does. I think it's nice and clean looking. Now, Manatee is a lighter color gray. It's pretty, though. And it's very neutral. Which, that's why I like having a piece of dark furniture. Or darker, maybe not black, but darker. Um, and I probably, the confusing part is probably more me or anything because it's called black sands so you kind of imagine it to be a black color that and it doesn't help that it looks that way in the container right but it'll dry it it will get darker as it goes but yeah on this overhead camera it most definitely looks a lot brighter and i think this color right here too if you have blue tones that it would pull the blue tones out too don't you think yeah 
Would you recommend using silk on older solid wood kitchen cabinets? I want to repaint my kitchen cabinets. I would recommend silk for that. But I would also recommend that you still put an additional um, top coat on top of it. So that way it is protected, especially if it's um, cabinets that are going to get a lot of wear and tear. Um, I wonder can I can I wonder if I can order it by the gallon. It's cheaper if you can buy stuff by the gallon right. than it is. Used to it's actually cheaper to buy four thirty two ounces than it was to buy one gallon, but now it's cheaper to buy one gallon. Which we buy gallon paints a lot, but mostly in chalk paint. I've never tried to buy a silk gallon. Let me go even see if that's available. Yeah. I got you an overhead and in front. Both. Yeah. yeah. So when I paint furniture, I kind of like to do um, the inside too. And mainly is because like this piece, I don't know where it's been. And even though I've cleaned it up really good, I can't tell you, you know, how it is. So I like to seal up as much of the furniture, which I know you can't see me doing this right now, but all I'm doing is just sealing up painting this and you don't have to worry about two coats here, but you can um, easily just seal it up so that way. Sealing it up with the paint so that way it just is all the way finished. So that way no matter what angle you are in, if you're sitting on the floor, <laughs> it's finished all the way. That's just nope. Me, uh, it is not available in gallon sizes. Silk's not? Nope. Well, how about that? What kind of top coat? Um, top coat. It's called Silk Extra Coat. That's the only one that I know for sure is right. safe to use with it. Have we tried using uh, Dixie Bell's Chalk Paint Clear Coats? I'm pretty sure it would be fine to use one. I just know silk leaves a satin sheen, or silk top, silk, does. silk top coat leaves a satin sheen. But you can... Or extra um, coat. Yeah, but I, I don't see why you couldn't use the Dixie Belle just satin coat, period. Or flat, I mean, flat's going to dry flat. It doesn't make whatever you're painting flat. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, if it has the sheen, it doesn't make it flat. It's not going to take the sheen away. It's just a flat finish so yeah i'm pretty sure clear any of the dixie bell clear coat flat sheens would work mm -hmm. uh, for bathroom cabinets kitchen cabinets and then uh, if you're wanting it to be extra coat if you wanted to use that but i'm pretty sure it's the same product if you're wanting it to be um i think it is too if you're wanting it to be waterproof 100 percent, then you would need to use um gator hide that would make it waterproof. That's what I would use on a tabletop. Even in the like bathroom counters where you can get more, you know, um, like you're going to be exposed to water and that kind of stuff. Because that's how I sealed up mine. And as which I used chalk paint, but I would definitely, you know, if I was to go in there and redo them right now, I probably would go with silk just for that. But then I would just go over it with the... Um, gator hide so that way it's all the way protected from yep. the water because we have too many kids in our house okay so the difference between extra coat and the dixie bell clear coats is extra coat is a semi satin okay yeah. where the dixie bell is either flat satin or, or gloss so that seems to be the big difference that makes sense i figured i'd look it up real quick yeah that was actually smart <laughs> It's smart to do that. Where is it at? I'm just trying to make sure. So is Gator Hide flat? Gator Hide is a satin-ish finish. Mm -hmm. I it's hard to describe it. Uh, Golly, how would you? Do? Is it? Is it? Uh, it's not a true satin. It's almost like I would say in between, semi satin. Yeah, yeah. 
Do you want me to turn this sideways so that way I yeah. can paint that side? That would be awesome. Let's see. Is the piece Missy is painting sitting on a stool, Kathy asked? <laughs> it's sitting on a... A little table. A little table. <laughs> that she loves... Is old and it's supposed to have like the magazine rack thing in the bottom, but that's broke off. And I just can't get rid of it because it's old. And I love it too much. Now, technically, I could fix it, but you know. We've been, I've been sitting here with it. I mean, like I talked about, I talk about redoing it all the time, but then what will I do while I'm waiting for it? To it's be got redone? these really beautiful inlays. I will say it that. It does. But it's it's not perfect by no means. It has um, the veneer is chipped on the top where it's just broken off. So. But the good news is the inlay is not broken. I don't want to. I really don't want to paint it. I really like like it how it is. So I just leave it with all of its flaws, with all of its character, and just love it like it is. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> just love it like it I is. I just love it like it is. But if you guys are noticing, I don't know if you can, if, if it's plain or not, but as Missy coats this piece, see the coverage she's getting from the silk? Silk coverage it, is, is really good. It's really good. And it doesn't take a lot of paint at all. So this one right here will paint a bunch. This will paint a bunch of tables. <laughs> right. Is which and this is from the bookshelf that I painted. I did two coats on that bookshelf and I did the undersides of the shelves and everything and I still have paint left over. Cat says she loves your shirt. Thank you, Cat. What's your shirt even say? Says uh, I'm gonna pray for you. I'm gonna pray for you. <laughs> I've had this shirt for years. Margie said it looks like great coverage. It is. It's really good coverage. And it'll dry, it'll self-level, and it'll smooth itself out. It, now, I'll, I'll, be t I'll tell you guys, she, it'll self-level all right, unless you're outside in the heat. Yes. That, and then it'll dry almost instantly. Yeah. And then you'll be sanding on it for... 10 or 15 minutes straight with 80 grit trying to get it back down because it's a hard, hard, hard finish. You definitely once it's dry. want to um, paint this in a controlled environment if at all possible. And there's this is VOC free, so that's not putting off any weird smells or any of that junk. Now, obviously, you'll get some smell from different colored paints because they just the paint smells different. Like caviar, for instance, the black paint. I don't like the way it smells. Some people don't. Kathy said, oh, good. I thought it might be levitating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, uh, uh, Missy Angel over here. Yeah. You know, can... Chris Angel, the yeah. levitating. Yeah. We can magician. levitate furniture now. It's easier for painting. Yeah, I saw this levitation pad that they, they have. It's like a, these magnets that oppose each other. It's weird, to hmm. say the least. I think it would be Interesting. neat. I think this is going to look good together. Natalie says, silk sounds like a great option for cabinets. Silk is... The, and the main part is because, like, especially if you have something with a lot of detail... Especially if you if you don't have to go through and put a second coat on. And honestly, once you let it um, cure up, is which is, according to Dixie Bell, you know, 28 to 30 days. Yeah, 28 to 30 days once for you a total cure. Let total. it total cure and harden up. It really does. Um, it essentially becomes indestructible. It is a hard paint, so you really don't... As far as paint can get. Right. That's you, not lacquer. Obviously, you, lacquer is indestructible. You don't have to worry about it. I mean, it, it with anything, you know, anything can take water damage no matter what you put on it. But it will definitely hold up. I've painted lots of furniture in silk and not put an additional top coat on it. 
So don't think that you have to put an additional top coat on it. If you're painting a piece of furniture and you know the wear and tear and you know if you have kids or anything like that, then you know that's just the decision that you have to make. Yeah, it's kind of like when our kids were little and we used to paint all of our walls semi-gloss because we didn't want them messing up the, the paint. Now all of our walls are painted eggshell. So... I mean, because you, now they're bigger, we don't have to worry about them getting smudges on the walls or whatnot you, from you, dirty. You'll know. I mean, you know if it if it's um, if it'll need it or not. If you're worried about it or not. Uh, honestly, I watched a proof of concept video the other day. The person took uh, Dixie Belle chalk paint, let it dry for the let it cure for the full thirty days, sat it outside in storms for six months, and then the paint still looked really good. I was I was actually stunned. So it blew out my thoughts on not sealing up a piece. It blew those out the window. Now, until I do it myself, I'm still not going to do that without top coating it. Um, that Mom, green cabinet that's in our living room that yeah. we got to cut the glass for, I haven't sealed it up at all. Right. And we've moved it, set stuff on it, been kind of rough with it. And the paint on it is 100%. Yeah, and I, accident, I accidentally got silicone on the front of it, uh -huh. and we peeled it off without it peeling any of the paint. And that piece would be a true set here for a 30 days piece. Yep, because um, we went to Lowe's and got the, the piece cut, the, the glass that goes in it, and uh, it's not, they, they cut it too big, even though I had the, the, we had the exact, I had the exact glass that goes in it. Yeah, and it still yeah, didn't turn still out right. Still got cut too big. And I mean like a half inch too big. Yeah, just enough to aggravate you. And just then I, enough. And enough that when I went to custom cut it myself, it's too uh, too little bit of an area to cut. So yeah. it just chipped and chipped. And I tried to chip it away until I got it to a certain point, but then it got a big chip, and so I couldn't use it. So now I have another piece that's... Uh, Another piece of glass I'm going to cut myself and just do it that way. Yeah. Tina said, my brother has our great-grandmother's dining room table, and it's gotten really worn. He was going to refinish it and get and can't get the lacquer sanded off. It's so oh, hard. I yeah, bet. lacquer is one of the lacquer. hardest finishes. Yeah, that will turn me away from a piece of furniture. Lacquer or uh, a true enamel. I'm not talking about latex enamel that mm -mm. you get at Walmart. I'm talking about a, a actual enamel paint. Both Those are very, very hard finishes. Very. That black table that I painted, that, you remember that round table that was black that, I, that we sold at the store? Yes. I painted it with lacquer, brushing lacquer. It's, um, it, if I, it, that will turn me away from a piece of furniture. All my uh, all my hand turned vases and bowls were finished in lacquer, clear lacquer. Remember? Because mm -hmm. uh, I had to go to Woodcraft to get the uh, brush and lacquer for that. The important thing when you're painting furniture is just to walk around it and keep your eyes on it as much as possible. Anywhere where you could have drips or runs or anything like that, you just want to smooth them out as quickly as possible. So that way you don't have to worry about coming back and fixing them. So anywhere there's detail or something like that, corners. Anywhere where your paint can pool or run. Edges, yes. You want to make sure that you because walk run, around Runs it. in silk are very difficult to get rid of, in my opinion. Yeah, you just want to walk around it and make sure that you've gotten them all as smooth as possible. So for as far as this bottom piece, I'm not going to take the tape off because this needs another coat. So I don't want to have to re-tape it. Um, so this, when I go through to paint this piece right here, um, that'll be the last thing I paint because I want this to be 100% dry before I try to edge this out. So we're just going to leave that like that. But what I did was I just made sure that everything that was around where the tape was was very smooth where I went through and was brushing on the inside and stuff like that. I just make it as smooth as possible. And then this piece on the top has a lot of um, detail to it as far as like cuts. It looks like it, you know, like it looks like... They routed grooves in it to make it look like it's yeah. a, a wood floor. 
So what you want to do when you're painting something like that is I like to start with those grooves and then smooth it out on the wood part like that. But and Tina, then, I think if maybe he could try a product like Clean Strip and then use a drag blade and but that would be a long process, especially if any of it's round on the table to try to get the lacquer off. Um, a chemical, I mean, yeah, that's what, really the best thing to do. It, it's going to be a, a longer process period to get, um, lacquer to off get the any, lacquer off. Any, any other product would be but, much easier um, to get off. Looking for a chemical stripper that will eat it and it might be something that you would do you know two to possibly three times and then just scrape it until you are down to the wood and then you can sand it i was unsuccessful in getting that yellow lacquer off that table we ended up scrapping it so i mean if you're trying to save it and restore it and it has like meaning to it like that it's worth the effort to um do that but if he's going to be using strippers, be outside so the fumes don't don't bother. Right. Or in a well ventilated area. Definitely protect your skin and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, gloves because it'll burn your skin. A clean. The problem with Clean Strip is it's a green product, so it's less harmful. It is, but it's less powerful. He sanded and sanded until he gave up. Yeah. He he's probably broke through with it being with him sanding. So there's a good possibility um, that a stripper might a, work a little bit better. A very, you know, good stripper would work and definitely make his job easier. As One of those brush-on strippers. And, um, you know, people do it all the time. They pour the stripper on and then they take saran wrap and they lay it on there and let it sit for a couple yeah. of hours until you just see it really bubbling up. That's why I say, like, it might be something that you do two to three times just to eat through. Yep. All of that. And then some strippers, you can uh, you can apply them and then you can pressure wash them off mm -hmm. instead of having to scrape. So, don't give up on it. He's keeping the table downstairs for the girls to use as their art table as they both draw. Ah, That's nice. a good way to keep it. Mm-hmm. Would have never thought to cover it with saran wrap. Yeah. Cover it with saran wrap. Or tin foil. Um, saran wrap is really the best because you can see it. You can see the strippers start like bubbling up and you can see it starting to peel But some and crack. industrial strippers will rip right through that saran yeah. wrap. Yeah, I mean it just depends on the stripper that you're using, but it's really good. Um, it just helps it keep it wet because that's the whole purpose of the stripper is not to dry out. It's to stay wet and eat through your um, coating and stuff like that. So... Um, applying the stripper and then putting the saran wrap on it to keep it wet is very uh, helpful in let, keeping the stripper from drying so that it can do its job. So then it could be a one coat process. Ooh, Margie says she lost her internet for a few minutes. Oh, shucks. It's really windy there. It was windy here the last couple of days. Yeah, it's been windy, yeah. We got some trees down down the road. Mm-hmm. I think those two colors look really, really good together. What do you think? I think that the light is warping the color some. Is Cut this it? light off right here. This one? Yeah. See how that looks? Yeah. See, that looks so... I don't know. It's still looking bright on the thing. It has. I guess it has to do with the white balance, maybe. It might be. It, it's but actually, no, it, it looks really good, though. You can turn that light back on now so yeah. you can see better. If you had, if Tina you go said with, that looks so pretty. Yeah, thank you. If you go with blue undertones, it does help. Um, it does bring out those blue undertones. Let me see if I can use this. Brush. That's a more accurate representation of the color right here on the front camera. As opposed to the overhead. It's because it's got so much sheen coming off of it right now because it's still wet. Well, it is still wet, yeah, in a lot of places. And that's that's why the overhead is giving us some problems. I'm actually going to... I don't know why I didn't grab this brush first. 
this round brush. The round spindle brush yeah, by Zebra. I don't know why I didn't. Because it'll help. It helps with like dabbing. That brush is amazing, guys. It really is. And it just. If you need to paint spindles, that brush is anything round, that brush is great for. But it's also good for like the pouncing, you know, like getting into details and stuff like that. Because your brush, your bristles are stiff. Um, I think that this would be a good stencil brush too. They're stiff and they're straight down. Mm hmm. Unless you're mashing the brush and brushing left and right, you shouldn't be. It shouldn't damage your right brush now. structure at all. But if, you know, I'm a if, huge fan of uh, zebra brushes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Missy loves Dixie Belle brushes. I, I well, I love both. I'm. They're really good. Both of them are. They're. I like zebra for their uh, price point. I feel like they're very good for their price point. Dixie Bell has expensive brushes, but I do, I still, I do love them and they're worth the money that um, you spend on them because they will last you. But um, so far, we've gotten pretty good mileage out of all of our brushes. Yeah. But we've got the same zebra brushes that we, I mean, same Dixie Bell brushes that we've had for three years. 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 So um, they're they're very well worth the um, amount of money that you spend on them. A lot of that too is just how you take care of them. And honestly, you know, I'm rough on my brushes. That is I, true. I do forget sometimes to um, uh, let me lift this up a little bit. Yes. I do sometimes forget to wash them and get them into water immediately and stuff like that. So. Um, they are forgiving to me, so I do, I do love them. They are good brushes, but definitely zebra for the simple fact that it is, their price point is nice. Yeah, you're getting really good coverage. Yeah. In one part, it doesn't look like it towards the front right there, but that's because of the shadow coming from the lights. So we Missy likes to use the same lights that we use when we're uh, doing this. She likes to, to use those when she's painting so she can move her piece around and actually see any flaws. So good lighting is key yeah. to painting furniture for sure. It definitely helps. Oh, show. Sure. It's kind of like when I used I used to use these uh, halogen spotlights in our carport when I would uh, apply polyurethane on tabletops because I wanted to see any dry spot so I could make sure that spot wasn't dry before I moved on to the next portion as I brushed backwards and forth because a lot of times you're painting with gloss when you're using polyurethane or uh, satin but you you need it to be good coats each time you, you each time you move that brush. You need it to be a good coat, right? And light at different angles really helps you to be able to see that. Lighting is key for sure. You're only on the front camera, so you don't have to worry about okay. Okay. where you're at. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting from all angles. I think the sandcastle and the the. Black sands looks really good together. Oh, I do too. And they're both silk colors. I'll put a link in the description. I get the well, there are links in the description. Never mind. Yeah. So that's pretty good. And they're all in stock. They are. They are all yeah. in stock. Silk is pretty easy to keep it in stock. We don't have as much demand for silk as we did uh, the no, chalk paint. Not really. Um, but we, I mean, people do use it a lot, though. Really, it works out good. I want to peel this. Tape well, most off. most beginners start with chalk paint. Most beginners, and then do. they'll move to silk. Yeah. When they, they need do. to get 
a quick and I, I call it quick and dirty, quick and dirty project over with. Yeah. Even though it's not really quick and dirty. No. For if you're looking for a um, like it, what sells silk is the one and done. The yeah, fact no that need it to have has a top, coat. a top coat that sells silk every single time because it sells me that when I'm depending on the furniture that I'm painting. Um, it will be how quick I'll choose silk over chalk yeah, paint. Yeah, because even though she said you can, you can, you might want to use a, a top coat. You don't actually have you to because it's have built to, in. Because it is built in, and if you, um, like I said, like you know, it's just like we said. If you you know your furniture, you know what the wear and tear is going to be on it. You know who's going to use it and what it's for, that kind of stuff. So you don't have to add a top coat if you're. Lisa Green said, I'm finally here. Sorry I'm late. Hi, Lisa. Whoa. I'm trying to just get it even on that's the problem with That's the problem with using our little table. That's my fault. It was my idea. <laughs> she didn't want to use it. She wanted to use a stool, but I was like, well, there the stool will damage the rattan. Yeah, that was the biggest thing. We didn't want to use that. You know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, my little scraper. And my mm -hmm. little brush to do the clean edges around there. And I think it'll be fine. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think so, too. Yeah. So, the Zebra Round Brush is 10 bucks. Yeah. It's I mean, Very that's... affordable. And it's a good brush. It really is a good ten, brush. I mean, well, not 10 bucks. 10 95 So, 11 bucks. So I'm just going to do it like this. And if y'all are using, looking for the brush comb. I'm just going to be, at least I'm going to do this side so that way they can kind of like see. The brush comb is probably the best $6 I've ever spent as Absolutely. far as your painting goes. Speaking of stools, Kat said, guess what Missy forgot to bring? Yes, I said that as soon as I got home, I was like, I forgot to bring the stool. I'm telling you, I just take a Forstner bit and drill it all the way through the top and through the bottom and shove a, uh, oh, I know, a poplar we have a We have a bar stool that um, behind the counter for us to like sit on and stuff like that in between. But you know, all the leaning on it and the back leaning on the back on the legs. But it has. Because I'm guilty of doing that. Showed its age, so. Let me I, see if I can get a better angle on what you're doing there. I said I was going to bring the um, metal bar stools that we have here so that way they would have them. Um, somewhere to sit and I forgot but I probably run it up to him in a little while why is that not going up I need it to go up this there is a go. good way to see um, the gut coverage because I'm just using a little paint brush and I'm just putting and then I'm smoothing it out that's pretty smart using yeah. that one inch brush just, yeah, because I'm just wanting to make sure that my lines are... And that's the same one-inch brushes we're always using for every single one of our classes. So if any of you have ever taken a class with us, you've got this, you already have this brush. Because they come in really handy. Yeah. Lisa said, oh, I, am, I love those colors. Do you like them? Um, I think they look really good together. I'm... I think it's still, and I still think that it can easily go with the, you know, the like if you were doing the Bohemian vibe or something like that. I still think these colors would look really good with that. You know, Bohemian, those dark or uh, colors, rich. And then it would look good with wood tones and stuff like that, even though it's painted. I still think it looks good. Well, I guess that's all that matters. You think it looks good? I like it. Of course, not everybody will, but that's all right. How dare you paint it that color? How dare you paint that furniture? <laughs> we hadn't had any of that yet, luckily. 
How dare you paint that furniture? Well, there wasn't really anything wrong with this piece. No. It's not one that we had to do a bunch of repairs on. It just looks better. I just think to it's fun to paint it. Like this. Yep. That's it. I just think it's fun to paint it. Yep. That's neat how you're using that, like one of those uh, paint blades, like we yeah. use to cut the paint around the house. These little, um, these little, little bull, uh, scraper things come in handy. And what's funny is I have like a hundred different sizes of them. Yeah. Because I use them for whatever we need to do. Sometimes cutting tape. I have the big one that I use with the drywall. Let me go right here. How dare you paint that color? Because it's gorgeous, Tamika said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tam, yes. How dare I paint this color? Hey, we watched one girl, she about cried because everybody was bashing her in the comments. People are brutal about to furniture. furniture. Pe people who paint furniture, they're so brutal to them. It makes me so nervous. Every time I'm fixing to paint a piece of furniture, I'm like, oh, I just... You know, if you don't like it, you don't have to say anything. If it's not your style, if it's not your anything, you do, you don't have to. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to. And know. that's the goal with this piece: is to sell it in the store. And but if you don't like it, you don't have to. You don't have to buy it. It's okay. But you also don't have to be ugly about it either. And a lot of people, it seems like nowadays, are more like that. I don't know. Not everything is my style. And I watch all kinds of um, furniture painting videos and stuff like that. And not, like I said, not everything is my style, but it's whatever the artist wants it to be. And I'm all for it. Yeah, for stuff like this, you know, it's pretty. It's just a simple. What you're doing is is a, is a simple. Even though it doesn't, I mean, the process itself isn't simple. But what you're doing is is you're you're just putting two colors on it and calling it a day. Some people say, well, that's not really furniture painting. You're not making a, all these ombres and blends everywhere. I don't think you have to do that. Some pieces don't need that. I think Some pieces look good that way. I don't think this table would, but that's me. Somebody maybe. else could be, they could do it, and they make it look amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Tamith said, keyboard trolls drives me nuts. Yeah. I get. I, it really hurts my feelings when I see people comment ugly things on other people's stuff that they've created and stuff like that. I'm just like, man, you could have just left that alone. You could have, you just didn't even have to say anything. And so many people quit, they quit doing stuff like that because of that kind mm -hmm. of stuff too. I'm like, you just didn't even have to say anything. You could have left it alone. Lorna said, if you don't want it painted, then buy it and do whatever you want with That's it. That's right. You can buy it, strip it down. That is fine with me. We've got a piece in the store right now that hasn't sold and we've had it for um, a couple of years. And I think Missy's going to end up I'm painting I'm going to end up painting it, but I'm And gonna... I didn't want to because it's from the early 1800s. It's a Jacobian piece. It's really beautiful and... like it is, but honestly, I'm probably going to have to paint it in order to sell it. And the minute, I'm telling you guys, the minute I paint it, I know somebody's going to say something about it. I can't believe you painted that. Why didn't you buy it? But they, you know. And it'll sell. It'll sell like Once it's painted, paint it. it's so crazy. But nobody will buy it while it's not unpainted. And Tam said, I've seen several YouTubers quit over comments they get. Yes. Yeah, because, man, people, people can be brutal. People are brutal. I yeah. got brutalized in a short video. People are brutal, like, even, I mean, I've... I... The microphone I had on, the one, those early mics, remember that? The, what I've... is that on your hat? Is that a rat? I've had man, um, you got rats. People who can be mean. Like, holy cow! People can be mean in the store. People can say, you know, like if they're in a booth or whatever. <laughs> I've heard them say stuff in in the booth, and they've been ugly, and I'm just like, 
You didn't have to say it. You could have just kept on walking. Not to mention the spelling police. Yeah, you're right oh. about that. The grammar police are out. Heaven forbid you make a make typo. Make one typo. And you know what's funny is, I, uh, I've gotten so I've seen it happen to so many people that that when I make one, I immediately go in and say, "Oh, it would help if I had learned how to spell," you know. Because I've seen it in so many other people's things. One time I was in a discussion with, with a friend on uh, Messenger. And he was like, come on, man. Didn't you learn how to spell? Mm -hmm. And at first I thought he was kidding. Turned out he wasn't. He was dead serious. And I was like, holy cow. Heaven forbid. Margie said, I never understood why people do that. I don't either. I know if I'm texting you and I have a typo, I don't go back and correct it. Nancy said, I've had rude comments on my live. I just ignore them. Yeah. I've had them on our Facebook page. I've had them. We had one here on YouTube and I blocked that person immediately. Yeah. Because, you know, it's your, your, your channel. It's your, your channel. channel. You block who you want to. Yeah. Especially if they're being ugly. Oh, but I like how it's coming together. It's looking really good. You're doing a really good job. I like it. Kathy said, internet bullies, such sad, sorry people. Mm. Tam said, that's why people hire me. I delete nasty before you ever see it. Tam, quick. Tam is quick. She is quick. Because I won't even have time to read the comment and Tamith has done, bam, got rid of it. Tam is quick. Tam is good at her job. Yeah, John makes a good point. Why do people feel the need to be ugly to start with? That's, the, that's my whole thing. Is You don't got you don't got to say nothing. You don't got to be ugly. You don't got to comment. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. You don't have to, um, you know, so it it's okay. But you don't got to be... I'm ugly about it. Just keep moving. That's what I say. <laughs> Jay said, life's too short for all that. Life is way too short for all that. I can put my energy in so many other things. <laughs> that would actually be good. They can too. <laughs> Barb said, my dad built a wall curio, and it was a little crooked on the trim. Hubby started criticizing it, and I looked him in the eye and asked where where, where his was going to hang at instead. <laughs> where was his going to hang at? Crickets forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lisa said, you have got such patience painting, Missy. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Tam said, oh, thanks. I try to be quick on those trolls. Tamitha is quick on them yeah, trolls. You are quick. I mean, all of a sudden, message retracted, and then that's the only thing you'll see, and then you'll see the whole, the, the username and everything gone. She's quick. Um, I do love in painting furniture. I really do. It is very um, relaxing to me. It's one of my favorite things to do. Normally when I paint furniture, I usually have my headphones in and I'm just focusing in. It's really relaxing. Like how a yeah, lot of people she, do. Her, she uses those earbuds. Earbuds, yeah. Yeah, she said headphones. Headphones. I got my, oh, I hit it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I took them around the world. <laughs> well, they, they wasn't on that camera that anyways, luckily, because they probably good. got dizzy from that one. Yeah, that was good. I hit it. So you get that, like that's, um, I think, I think I like this being the lighter color because it actually brings attention to it. You know what I'm saying? Like when it was all solid wood, this didn't stand out. Right. Like it just kind of faded into it. But I love that it's this pop of color. 
um, and that it stands out. And you could put something like a wooden bowl down there or just a stack of yeah, books. Yeah, and then that will really stand out. Whatever you put on the bottom shelf now will most definitely stand it's gonna out. It's going to stand out. And I think um, if you have like a brass lamp on here, I think that would be gorgeous, you know. With a doily underneath, guys. You could easily use this table this way, or you could use this table that way, depending on like how much floor space you're trying to take up. I think this is actually a good table. I and, thought it was good when I, when I picked it up. And I'm really liking the color combination and how everything is going to turn out. So, and it was solidly built. Like it's pocket hole construction and they actually did the pocket holes right. You know, Ethan Allen made tables like this. And I don't know if this one doesn't have any markings of an Ethan Allen table, but um, I, I don't know. Nancy said, when you move back, you have my head. She's right. <laughs> there we go. We'll put me over here in this corner. There we go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That way you don't have my head. That way you don't have um, But I really <laughs> like it. I like how it's turning out. It's beautiful, Missy. That mm. is very nicely done, John said. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So just a reminder with silk um, is that you do, it dries from the top down. So um, while it looks like it's dry, it's not really dry. You want to at least give it anywhere from two to four hours before you come back through on your second coat. Now I did coat this piece right here um, twice and I didn't wait, but for what this was, yeah. it was fine. Um, but as far as the table, the body of the table and everything goes, um, this definitely needs to be just set to the side and let it dry for a good, with it being in our house, you know, anywhere from two to four hours. Um, let this paint harden up so that way when you come through with your second coat, you're not going to immediately activate your first coat and peel it up and make a huge mess out of anything. So that's an silk, important point that you just made about taping it. Silk does take longer to dry than Dixie Bell chalk paint. You want it to dry before you go through and put your second coat on. Chalk paint, this table probably would have been dried by the time I got done with everything. Oh yeah, and you I could already been be working on the second to coat. To do the second coat. So there's the difference between chalk paint and silk there is if you're not wanting to sit and wait if you're, if you're a get it done type person, then that's where chalk is like really be your best friend when it comes to that. Nancy says um, she loves that style and color. I do too. I think it looks really good. What are you doing there? Um, this is, you know, where I did the, I'm just spreading the out the paint okay. and the grooves. I where just it pulls. seen. Mm -hmm. I just seen. Like right there. It was Tam said this much. goes from coastal to country decor. So well, versatile with those colors. It is very versatile. You're, Tam's right. This is easily, a, um, could be both. Kathy said, my daddy worked as an industrial painter at the local steel mill. So he taught us about the different paints and all about the different brushes to use indoor and outdoor That's on furniture. That's right. That's right. And with the, the, the way paints are changing with all the new binders and everything. I wouldn't be surprised if paints are changing. Yeah. I mean, you got powders now. You've got yeah. Uh, like people are mixing epoxy. Like people are mixing epoxy with paint now mm -hmm. to come up with these brutally hard paints. Yeah. Like the paint that I'm going to use in the back of the store on the floor, it's an epoxy paint and they say after 30 days of that, it won't even, you could drive a car over it. Yeah. And it won't even mar the surface. Right. Love the top pattern of that wood. I do too. That's actually. what made me get, that's what made me get it in the first place was the way the wood looked on the top. I like it. I think it was definitely a good table. It would have been nice if there was a set of them so you could have done two. But one it is, and that's all right. We never find them in sets. No. Is so rare to find a table in a set, <laughs> but this is a this table would easily fit in with another style type table, like you know. But I'm not a firm believer that all your end tables and nightstands need to match. I think you can. Um, none of mine do. No, <laughs> I mean that little table that she's got it on. Show them that little. T oh, you can't take it no, off, can I you? Know. I mean, we have um, three different tables in our living room, so 
Yeah, my computer's sitting on one. Yeah. So I think it's fine. Because it's a really heavy desktop. So again, just a reminder, if you're using silk paint, let it dry 100% completely before you go through and put your second coat on so that way you're not reactivating anything like that. And if you were to tape something off, again, hours, hours before you, you know, apply tape or anything like that. Yeah. And then just know it self-levels, so don't overwork it. And just um, let it dry and do its thing. And then make sure that you work in time to move any pooling. Yes, yes. Especially like where these corners are, anything like that. Just keep your eyes on them as you're circling around your furniture. Slow and steady is the winner. Wins the race. Yeah. And what's the other thing you like to say here lately? Work like an ant. Work like an ant. <laughs> she told me that earlier. She was like, that's, like what it, that's what the Bible says. And I was like, where? Let me look that. And sure enough, it's in Proverbs. Sure enough. Work, work like, like an, an ant. ant. Well, basically, look at how an ant works <laughs> is what it says. Still, good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. I have a checkerboard tabletop from the 1800s. Only wood pegs used, no nails. Oof. Nice. That is amazing. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of dowel rod construction. Yeah, you are. Uh, when I built the prototype benches for that in-store class, uh, if y'all watched the video, that's exactly how I assembled that. Now, the, the, that was just the prototype. The second one, I uh, simulated by drilling the holes, putting screws in, and then coming back and putting uh, wood dowels in over the top of that. But that's because I realized that building a bunch of uh, tables for a class was going to be very time consuming if I was just going with dowel construction. Yeah, but it is good but stuff. But yeah, I love that. That, that mm -hmm. would be amazing. Yeah. You know, woodworkers back in the day were... They they took their time. They didn't have all the tools we had that we have now. Uh, their construction methods were quite unique. And it, it it goes to show when you see a piece of furniture from the 1800s and it's not even wobbly, like your checkerboard. It's probably, if the glue, if the adhesive is still good, it's, there, it's probably, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Very, Solid. very sturdy. Yeah. Like sturdier than anything I'm going to build with pocket holes. Or worse, biscuits. I used to do biscuit joinery, and I learned over time that that's not strong. You know, it can be if you have enough biscuits, but I'd much rather use dowels or pocket holes. Which pocket holes has its own, own issues, too, if you don't keep it held down on the top and the bottom, especially if you're working on something straight. Is that all you got for them? This is it because, like I said, it just needs to dry. Okay. Well, guys, if anybody has any questions about silk paint, chalk paint, uh, what Missy did today, just uh, message us on Facebook. Send me an email. Uh, yeah. You can com You can leave it in the comments here on YouTube. That's right. Uh, Don't hesitate. We'll we're pretty you... quick to get back to you. Yeah. We'll give you the best advice. And, of course, you can order all of these products that you saw me use today. At rustyprolix.com. Yeah, that, that is true. All of them. All including of the, including the paint brushes. The paint brushes, the paint, the, um, yeah, you can order all of those. And I've started adding uh, silk screen stencils and stuff. Uh, I'll finally get the bonding boss on there today. And that's about it, guys. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Always, always thank y'all for joining us and hanging out with us and having a great time. And we enjoy it. Yep. And if you haven't already, if you like the, the, the video, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't, subscribe to make sure you Lorna subscribe. said, how about your shirt? Is it for sale at the store? You know, I don't have this shirt for sale. I bought this shirt. Oh, goodness. The girls were so little. I mean, it's probably, this shirt is probably six, seven years old. That's how long I've had this shirt. Really? Yeah. It's... I would have never thought that. There's not enough paint on it for it to so, be that old. <laughs> well, I usually don't wear it for painting. I did grab it today. Um, I don't have this shirt for sale on the website, um, but this is We don't even a have shirt. that in the store. No, I don't even have this on the store. Um, it's, Maybe we should get it. This is something that I probably can't find. So, 
I'll work on that. Yeah, we'll work on that one. Yeah, I can work on this one because this one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good shirt. I like it. Yeah. All right, guys. We all have a great weekend. Be blessed. Yeah. Be safe. Absolutely. And we'll see y'all Tuesday. Tuesday. If everything goes right, we'll see you Tuesday. Yep. Bye, y'all. Bye. All right.